I find beauty in strange things and unusual things. I also find beauty in ugliness. I suppose I value looking interesting more than I value looking conventionally beautiful. I actually mix some manic panic goth white into my foundation because I like to look as pale as possible. It's like my, my inner goth. I do sort of like a custom blend of primer, a foundation pigment, and then a white pigment and kind of creates the effect that I want. I don't usually feel like I'm awake until I have makeup on, which is weird. I need to put something on my face in the morning or else it feels like I am perpetually in a state of just having rolled out of bed. Do a little bit of concealer under my eyes. And then we're gonna do some highlighter. This is actually the best highlighter I've ever used. The shade is Ghost Light. It makes me look so fresh. So for years, I had this perfect lipstick that my mom gave me. Eventually I ran out of it. It's a Halston lipstick, and the shade is red number one. So a few years ago, I actually had Bite Beauty Custom blend me a color that was pretty similar to it. You're probably not supposed to use lipstick on your cheeks, but I do. <laughs> Slap it off a little. I had a really hard time in middle school and I got teased a lot for the way that I looked. I had people telling me that I was ugly and like just a lot of really mean things. And I kind of tortured myself for a few years wishing so badly that I could look like the popular girls. When I was 16, something kind of broke in me and I realized that I was never gonna be like that and I should probably just do whatever I want, which was pretty radical at the time. Like, I mean, I would come to school dressed as a sailor. Or another time I came to school dressed as the Virgin Mary and I was wearing so many robes that I couldn't do my work. <laughs> I was cutting off my hair and dyeing it orange and basically just shredding my clothes and wearing like neon eyeshadow and suddenly the world was just a lot kinder to me. I'm really inspired by the 1960s. I generally like to do a cut crease, just my nod to mid-60s eyeshadow fashions. <laughs> I think it's just kind of what my eyes want. <laughs> I use a lipstick to put my eyeliner on. I feel like if you're a good artist, then you're good at makeup. Because all makeup is, is making drawings on your face. And the drawings just have to kind of line up with your features to some extent. But I guess they don't really have to. You can just draw all over your face with no rules, and that's all makeup is. I really get a kick out of just showing people who I am from the second I walk in the door.